as I said, I might be asked to actually speak to schools and give a bit of a spiel about bees, but I'm nearly there. I've ended up at university giving a bit of a spiel on community TV. I'm up to the next part of the map. the car follow the blue line to the studio entry building B studio entry and building B well, this is building B maybe it's that way that way and it do that way we can go and get a coffee here this The restroom, we're not going to film that bit. <laughs> okay, we'll go that way. <laughs> it's TV studio. Oh, yeah. The stairs. Does it say TV It does too. Look at you go reading the directions. <laughs> ah, golly. That's why I can never find me socks, isn't it? We're getting closer. <laughs> Man, follow the green finger. <laughs> hey, is that a countdown? Was that number three? Oh, you've got to love the universities. It's a little twiddly thing that's got one, four, three, two, one. Touchdown! <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> it's got something like 14,000. <laughs> Unreal, isn't it? It's pretty freaky, the way it works. Yeah. Good on you ladies, good Thank job. You. Thank you very much. Is that your son? Yes, this is young John. Right, he's the champion. <laughs> <laughs> he got me into this. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, not technically, but it'll be all right. We'll figure something out. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome and jealous. Yep. Just like your heart. It'll be all right. Just don't nice, swear it. Nice glass, nice of swear. <laughs> glass of wine or a beer. Yes, please. No, that's what you make out. You oh! Know. Starting on three, Hysterical. standing by. Comment. We're recording in five, four, three, <laughs> two, one, cue. Hello, I'm Malcolm Hazard. I'm Janice Baker. Go ahead. Bro. One take. Five, four, three, two. We're back with Mark, who is? The Bush B Man. Just a box of girls. A Pretty box much, a whole big box of girls. And there's, although there's a few boys, obviously, because they have to do their part, well, the boys, boys do. do. But they don't do a whole lot more. <laughs> they don't, the they sit around. The boys are very busy then, I suppose. No, not really, because the, no, anyway, they're not <laughs> how, how, is this, what, is this P rate, G rated, isn't no, it? So it is, there. we won't go there, but it's, <laughs> no, you know, but we need to understand that these things happen. Yes, it doesn't matter do. who's watching yes. and at what time of the day or night. Yeah. There is fertilisation that needs to yep. occur with mm -hmm. the queen bee. Yes. And there Only are drone once. bee, one bee, yes. yes. No. And there are drone bees that do that and yep. everybody else is a worker, is that yep. right? That's how it works, yeah. See, yep. I did the research. Yep, yep, they, they, raise, they raise the boys, which are called drones, and then they go out to a drone mating site and they just hang out there with their mates until a hot looking queen flies past and then they all chase all right. her down and Hello. Yeah, and give her a bit of a serve. The sad part about it is the <laughs> poor old male boy, he only oh, gets one crack at him and then he splits in half and he's done. So yeah, Yes. So it's oh, a, that's a bit rough, isn't it? <laughs> terrible. Yeah, his head went, what, was that, what was that kid show where the head went that way and the legs went that way? Oh, that was an what ad. What was that ad? Yes. I, I can't yes, remember that I little kid. Remember. Anyway, that's a bit yeah. what happens to the poor old drone. He's in... <laughs> So, anyway, again, <laughs> but these things in life are interesting to understand yeah. because without that, fruit wouldn't happen, as we mm -hmm. just said, and yep. we wouldn't have honey. Uh, thank you very much for having me, Troops. Yeah, Mark, I'm not sure about that sticky finger, lad. No, I know, exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, that was great because a lot of people don't realise what we talked about, about yeah. the bees. No, well, exactly right. And a lot of people don't realise how cool bees are and what role they play in our lives. And it's... I reckon 
if I'm allowed to comment, since we're on my own show, you can. The cool thing that I like is about people writing in that are starting to actually notice bees in their garden, other than, as you said, with the swarm, mm. but just noticing them on the flowers and actually thinking about what bees what are eating doing. and what they're doing yeah. and exactly. taking interest, which is the whole purpose of and, our show. And, and obviously to find some more beekeepers. Yes, well, hopefully, or places for the bees to go. That's half the trouble, too. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> places for and them of to course, be. you can catch the interview we did with Mark <laughs> on our time right around Australia. Or you can pick it up on our YouTube channel, which is Our Time TV. Anytime, anywhere in the world. I'm Malcolm, this is Chad. And that's a yeah. shameless plug. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you do realise, though, they've lifted, they've lifted the standard here now. I'm going to expect makeup every time, and I'll have to have a proper wardrobe. <laughs> Bet you didn't even know I had a fancy shirt, did you? <sighs> anyway, I think that went all right. So, we'll see. Check it out. <laughs> Janice, do you know much about this stuff? Oh, yeah. Honey, I do, well, only that I do like it on my toast sometimes. Mm -hmm. But we can learn more from Mark Decoe because he's the bee man. That's exactly right. And honey isn't the only thing they do. So, we'll talk about that shortly. Okay. Mm. Oh, stop. Mm -hmm. Now I'm mm -hmm. up. Next time on our time, join us then. <laughs> <laughs>